All right, guys, today I'm going to make a video that is arguably pretty difficult, and that is that I've seen definitely a handful of other content creators, especially more watch people here of like doing these like three watch collection, or if they could only have like three watches in their collection, what would they be? And I figured it'd be fun to do something as similar along those lines of a three knife collection. Now, this is honestly going to be pretty challenging. I'm not sure it's entirely, it might be a little bit biased, and I'm definitely glad that uh, I'm not restricted to necessarily having three knives because I have nearly 50 knives in my EDC knife collection but that aside um, I wanted to go over probably the handful of areas or criteria that I would look at choosing if I had to choose three and probably some pretty good examples of a choice in those three so the first one of course would naturally have to be budget now so the first one would have to definitely be a budget blade. And for this one, I'm going a little bit higher end on the budget knife scale, still keeping it under $100, but only just barely. And that's because if you have three knives, you know, maybe going for a budget option isn't so much of a super priority. But this is for me, not quite exactly a budget knife, even though that's what I'm calling it, but more of a kind of like hard use knife that I'm not gonna be afraid of getting damaged, getting, you know, potentially um, not necessarily broken, but just the, the edge getting chipped or something like that during hard use. So for me, the first one up is going to be the Ontario Knife Company Rat 1 or Rat Model 1. And this is the Red Rat 1. And the special things about this one is that it's in CPM S35VN. And I think that this one makes a pretty good choice for being a budget kind of hard use blade because it is still, once again, under $100 and is a larger knife and has a pretty darn good steel on it. So overall, this one's pretty hard to go wrong with. So I'll get closer to the camera uh, for what it is. For a sub $100 knife, another good offering for this would be any of Cold Steel's line, like the American Lawman's, the Code 4. They're a little bit thinner than this and a little bit heavier than this guy. Actually, maybe a little bit lighter. But um, overall, those are also a pretty solid option. Also an S35VN, but this is for me, in my collection, what I have right now, all right, stepping it up in price point quite a bit. Um, the next one I would choose is I would wanna make sure that I have some kind of knife for like dressing up or classy, you know, kind of events where you need to have something that's more elegant. And so for me, I would choose the Chris Reeve Knives Sabenza 21. I think that this knife, the Sabenza 31, even the Nkosi probably would make a really venerable option for something that can be dressed up, something that you can go to a, you know, a function and people aren't gonna be like, oh no, that's a scary knife. You know, this isn't an out the front. You can deploy this. You can slow roll it very carefully, very quietly, and, you know, not bring much attention, but still have a really good looking knife and a knife that is going to perform very well. So for me, uh, you know, for those, whether it's like a date night or something you want to dress up for an occasion, the Sabenza 21, I think is a really good kind of high class choice. Lastly, and honestly not any cheaper than the other two, is going to be a kind of hard use outdoor blade for me. So for me, if it was an outdoor blade, you know, I'm likely going to pair this folder with a fixed blade that is going to be robust and handle, you know, serious chores. But for the folding knife, this would have to be at the Strider SNG, just because it is a more tanky blade that can take a beating, and honestly, it is built for hard use. So the Strider SNG would be my choice up for kind of a wilderness, outdoors, hiking, uh, kind of camping blade. And so, yeah, for me, that is the choice for a three knife collection. So anyways, going back over that, because this was rather brief, you have the Ontario Knives Rat Model 1. And like I said, I would choose the Red Rat if I was going for this. Of course, you can get other models um, in OS8 that are going to be more affordable, but this one still comes in under $100. So I think for a budget option, especially if you're only going with three uh, knives, the Red Rat would be the one that I would choose. Um, aside from that, and then going for the classy, kind of the opposite end of the spectrum, it is a little bit more expensive, but the Chris Reeve Knives Sabenza or Large Sabenza Model 21, of course, this one is in the Tonto version of it, but this guy is a no-brainer for me just because I think it looks so classy, so timeless. We've talked about this a ton of times on the channel already, but really solid choice.
Then I would say lastly, the Strider SNG. So yeah, SNG is a great option all around for just hard use and for outdoors. Anywho guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.